Hey everyone, my name is Marco and back once again from my color screen where we help you create awesome looking Android home screens that are going to knock your socks off. So without any further ado, let's bring to you today's video tutorial. Great guys and girls, so today's awesome looking Android home screen is brought to you by Samati with his home screen titled Circle Mod UI. And straight away, it just blows you away with how tactile everything looks. It makes you want to just touch everything. It looks really good. It's got that dial in the middle here that's got all your jump to shortcuts, such as your camera, your music. Just by tapping them, will bring up whatever music you want to be playing. So it looks really good. You got your time, your date, your alarm at the top, which also looks really good with that font as well. And in the middle, it's got your little weather there and as well as your weather information at the bottom and it looks really good it's got this it's really hard to see but it looks fantastic when you notice it this is actually a battery circle around here saying how much battery you got left I think that looks fantastic not to mention you got your missed notification icons here that say you can also when you tap will bring it up so this is a fantastic one screen setup really easy to do so if you'd like to set up this fantastic screen let us begin with today's video tutorial booyah Great, so in this video I'll be using Nova Launcher my, as my custom launcher. You're welcome to use other launchers such as Apex, Holo Launcher, even SS Launcher as it's just one page and it's very easy to set up. Another thing you definitely want to do is check in the links in the description below for all the resources that you need, that you'll need to copy onto your phone, either extract them using your computer or what, whatever uh, program that can extract RAW files or you can just copy them onto your phone and use a file explorer such as ES File Explorer that can also extract those files. So make sure you copy them onto your phone and once you got those, I think it's only three files that you need, then we can jump right into the launcher settings. Awesome, so for the Nova launcher settings, all you'd have to do is just hold down on your home screen and you can just select the little wrench there to bring up your Nova settings. From here, we're going to go into our desktop and then into our desktop grid. Now, remember a 5x4 grid size is used here. It's, I know it's a bit weird and small, but it actually works out really well. So, I'm going to leave it as a 5x4. Our margins, we want to be set on none. Don't need any margins. Shadows, you want to be disabled. Home screens, you're going to be only having one home screen. Very easy to do. And if you scroll down, we want to disable label icons, but we do want to be able to resize all widgets, widgets overlap, and overlap when placing. Very important as there's two large UCCW skins, which can get a little bit complicated and in the way. So if we go back now, if we go into our dock, we want that dock definitely to be disabled. We do not need the dock. Going to look and feel, we want to scroll down and we want to disable the notification bar. We don't want that one at the top, but as always, you can always just swipe down and it will appear. Next, if we go into our gestures and buttons, um, the author said that you can use he uses two fingers to swipe down or to swipe up to show up your app draw. I just prefer one single swipe up to show my app draw. That's how I've set it. So swipe up and I can select my app draw like this. You do need the Prime version for this, but if you're thinking about getting it or not, I'd highly recommend getting the Prime version of Nova. It's fantastic. I have not regretted that purchase ever since. I got it. So I'm just going to go back now. Everything should be gone. Or if you have any apps or widgets, remember just to hold down on them and select remove and just I'll drag them into the X or whatever. Just get them in, just get rid of them. So once they are gone, you got your notification gone, then you can move into the wallpaper settings. Awesome. So for the wallpaper, very easy to do. We're just going to hold down on the home screen and select wallpapers. For this instance, I'm going to be using wallpaper wizardry for the simple fact that this, for, this wallpaper was designed for the Nexus 4. So I'll be showing you other people that do not have the Nexus 4 what they can be using. So we're going to go into find that folder that you've copied onto your phone. It should be save it as Circle Mod UI. Here it is over here. I'm just going to be selecting it now and then selecting the image. Now if we go select set and then quick. From here you want to select no scroll. You don't obviously you don't want it to be scrolling. And now there's two ways in which you can do this. You can either say crop portrait or stretch portrait depending on what phone resolution you have and either way should work out the best for you. So I'm just going to be selecting crop portrait just to show you what the cropping portrait would look like if we stretch it out a bit, the padding, as you can see it's going to only crop the, the space that's going to be fitting onto your phone. So for Nexus 4 guys, I do recommend just going into quick pick and setting your wallpaper normally, but you can always just use this method as you can see it provides room at the bottom for these soft keys at the bottom right here. So I'm just going to be selecting set now. Like I said, you can either select crop portrait or stretch portrait. Either one should fit hopefully for your phone. 
So that is set up. We've got our wallpaper done. Next, we're going to be moving into the UCCW skins. Cool beans. So for these UCCW skins, very easy. There's only going to be two that we need to be adding. So let's start at the top. We're going to be holding down the home screen and selecting widgets. From here, we're going to be selecting or scrolling all the way down into UCCW. Great free app. It doesn't really matter what size you go for. I'm going to be going for a 4x4. Once that's loaded up, you want to select use up now and you want to find that folder that you've copied onto your phone and it'll come with these two use ups. Now remember you don't want to extract these use ups or anything, just don't touch them, leave them alone as UCCW knows how to handle them. So for the first one, the one at the top, the clock one, we did, it's number two, yeah it's a bit confusing but that's the one at the top. So it's going to import your skin, tap that massive hand and there it should appear. Now you're welcome to hold down on it and select resize, making it look a lot better at the top. Great, once that's done, we're going to be adding in the second one exactly the same way, holding down, selecting widgets, and scrolling all the way down to UCCW. Will we selecting, let's go for, say, a 4x1 even, I don't think it makes any difference. We're going to be selecting use up and the first one this time around, and it's going to import for you, and you just have to tap the hand. Very simple to do. If we hold down on it now and select resize, Remember, this is where that resizing widgets might come into play. And there it is, fits perfectly on my Nexus 4. However, if you're using a Galaxy S3 or other phones that might need to be adjusted, very simple way to do it. Make sure that your lock widgets on UCCW is off. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just go into the app. We'll go into our menu here at the top or options, go into our lock widgets and then make sure that it's off. Once it's off, you'll be able to now edit these UCCW skins as we'll be doing so now. So say for example, this is too high or too low or it's just not fitting right at all. I'm gonna select the skin now, I'm gonna select our background there which brings up our select object list which you can see before us here. It's got everything that has been set up. Quick thing that you definitely wanna do first before you move anything is select your Gmail one as that's your little Gmail account there. It should be looking all funky donkey. So we're gonna be changing it into your correct Gmail account. What you're going to be doing is swiping your controls all the way across into controls number five where you'll be selecting your Gmail account. That's right, it's your Gmail account. Other accounts like Yahoo and whatever Hotmail aren't going to work too well. I do recommend say using an app such as Mistit which can get a quick workaround as that supports any email account. So from here you want to select your account. I'm not going to show you, I'm just going to be selecting my preferred account. Once you've selected your account you're going to go into your label and then choose whatever label you want. I do re recommend either inbox or priority inbox as sometimes it will not show at all. So that's done but now you want to be moving it up or down. So the quick way of doing this is to go back into your select object list at the top here. You want to scroll all the way down and select common controls. What this allows you to do now is it's only got one button here which would be your position. So what you can do now is move everything all in one go and you can even say faster movement. So say if I want to move it up one two or down one two then you can say whatever so you can always just go back and see okay oh that looks a lot better and then go back into the app mm, it's up to you so just letting you know that once you've got all the UCCW skins positioned in the way you want you can go back now into your select object list here as now you can be editing your hotspots so all of these have already been configured pretty well such as camera going to camera Let's say for example C controls not well hotspot number five if you select number five here that's going to go into play music but what if my play music is not my prefer preferred music player all you'd have to do now select hotspot go into your app and then find your preferred music player or whatever app that you would want to open so say if I want next music I'm going to select it now it's been changed so now once you've selected all your hotspots and configured them as well as for the skin at the top we can select our options here, our menu here, go into our lock widgets and then select on. It's going to enable your hotspots. So now when you want to select that music one, it's going to bring up next music, which is awesome. So that is cool. That is your hotspots done. However, say for example, now so you run into some problems such as your weather just showing dashes and not displaying your weather correctly. All I'd recommend to do is to go back into your UCCW skin here, go back into your options here, go now into your settings whereby you can go into your weather provider and then change it accordingly. And one last thing with UCCW, which also can get confusing, is that if it shows a white rectangle, no skin whatsoever, you want to delete that and then just select the UCCW skin from the list instead of re-importing it. Sometimes it helps out a lot. 
So there we have our home screen complete. Thank you very much guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like or subscribe if you haven't already. Also don't forget to check out our Facebook, Google+, Twitter and Instagram communities. And as always, don't stop customizing.